previous video I have been showed you how to track a object using OpenP API. On this video we will use same method to create a program to track multiple object. A multi-object tracker is simply a collection of single object trackers. We start by defining a function that takes a tracker type as input and creates a tracker object. OpenCV has 8 different tracker types, boosting, mil, kcftld, median flow, godern, moss, csrt. As you can see here we initialize tracking methods. A multi-object tracker requires two inputs. A video frame and location, bounding boxes, of all objects we to track. Given this information, the tracker tracks the location of these specified objects in all subsequent frames. As you can see here, we first load the video using the video capture class and read the first frame. This will be used later to initialize the multi-tracker. Next, we need to locate objects we want to track in the first frame. The location is simply a bounding box. OpenCV provides a function called select ROI that pops up a GUI to select bounding boxes, also called a region of interest, ROI. Until now, we have read the first frame and obtained bounding boxes around objects. That is all the information we need to initialize the multi-object tracker. We first create a multi-tracker object and add as many single object trackers to it as we have bounding boxes. In this example, we use the CSRT single object tracker, but you try other tracker types by changing the tracker type variable below to one of the eight tracker times mentioned at the beginning of this post. The CSRT tracker is not the fastest but it produces the best results in many cases we tried. Finally, our multi-tracker is ready and we can track multiple objects in a new frame. We use the update method of the multi-tracker class to locate the objects in a new frame. Each bounding box for each tracked object is drawn using a different color. Thanks for your watching. Like and subscribe to follow and support channel.